The Old Testament reading for the second Sunday in Lent is kind of a crazy story, as if we didn't have enough of those in the Bible, right? Um, but it's a story of Jacob, and he is somehow wrestling with God, which sounds like an absolutely crazy thing to have happen, and it kind of is. Uh, one, it's sort of crazy that someone would wrestle with God, and two, that God would allow himself to be wrestled with. Because we don't really want to think of God as someone who will allow that sort of thing. We want to think of God as someone who will tell us everything we need to and want to know. But that's not how it works. Now, a lot of times you might think that the people who are in charge of your churches, the people who are uh, preaching, who are teaching the pastors at the seminary, uh, all of these sorts of people with lots of letters after their name, uh, that they have this all figured out. They might want you to think that. But there's a reason why their libraries are absolutely full of books and new books that come out every single year, figuring out, learning more about God, about Jesus Christ, because we're all wrestling with him on one level or another. And this is challenging because we're kind of taught when we're kids that once you get older, You'll sort of know everything and how the world works when you uh, grow up. I One of the funniest things that happened to me once I grew up, once I was the pastor of a church, I realized that I didn't know what I was doing. And I looked around and I figured out, I'm not sure anyone else knows what they're doing either. We're all wrestling with existence, with life, and ultimately with God. But God does not rebuke Jacob for his struggle. He doesn't rebuke him for his wrestling with him. God ultimately wins the match, of course, but he renames Jacob. He calls him Israel, struggles with God. And then... Israel goes on to become this great nation that God himself founds and births and cares for. He brings them out of slavery in Egypt. He brings them through the Red Sea. He brings them through the wilderness. He brings them through the Jordan River. He baptizes them. He feeds them with manna from heaven. He feeds them with the bread of life even though they continue to struggle with him very mightily, don't they? They never sit back and say, you know what, God? You can have your way and we're okay with that. No, I struggle with that too as well, don't I? And you do too. Are we just wonderfully okay with everything that God says and uh, has desired for our lives? Well, now, I'm still a sinner and I still struggle with God. But I am a part of his people. I am his child. He has made me his child, declared me his child, made me a part of his people, Israel. So it's okay to struggle, but keep struggling. Don't give up, for God has not given up on you. Amen. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.